With a record five consecutive Emmy wins, NBC's critically acclaimed Frasier ranks as one of the greatest TV comedies of all time. Three-time Emmy winner Kelsey Grammer has played the snobby shrink since his days as a Boston barfly on Cheers. And, of course, when Cheers closed in 1993, Frasier Crane went home to his native Seattle to start over, moving in with Dad, hosting a radio call-in show, and in upcoming episodes, looking for love. Oh, gosh, she's already set me up on a date this evening. But I assure you, I am more interested in personality than looks. Did you see a photo, at least? Well, of course I saw a photo. She's got a personality you can bounce a quarter off of. <laughs> Now, after 11 years, Frazier will be signing off for good, and Kelsey Grammer says goodbye to a char character he's played for 20 years. Hi, Kelsey. Welcome back. Hey, so nice to see you. How are you Likewise. feeling? You know, there's so much buildup when a show goes off the air, yes. as we've seen with Friends and, yeah. and also with Frazier. Well, the Friends buildup is a little more <laughs> profound than the Frazier buildup. Uh, Mars is a little anticlimactic, but uh, I'm... Uh it, it is nonetheless a slightly daunting experience because of the fact that, you know, so many things seem to be kind of coalescing into this final event that feels, you know, bittersweet at best. And also for you, I mean, as we mentioned earlier, Kelsey, 20 years playing one character, yeah. albeit on two shows, mm -hmm. but, you know, you and, and Frasier are sort of... Twinned. It, yeah, yeah, separated at, at birth. Mm -hmm. It's hard, I would think, psychologically, oh, listen to me, it's hard to kind of, to, to separate the two of you. Yeah. Well, the, the character has been such a kind of a, a good friend to me all these years. I mean, uh, the actors just dream of playing a memorable role, and uh, I've played one for 20 years, which is an extraordinary gift. But he's also been a role that uh, can embrace so many different emotions and go to, to so many places, so many highs, so many lows, that uh, it's a, a, a really an extraordinary thing to play a gift part like that right. for so long. Do you think that's what, what has made him such a juicy part because of the emotional range he projects? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think the, th the fun thing about Frazier is that he's... And he's he, so smart, by the he's way. He's very smart. He has a rarely... He rarely has an unexpressed thought. Is he a psychiatrist or a psychologist? Psychiatrist, Oh, yes. he is. He is a medical doctor. MD, yes. Okay, yes. fine. <laughs> okay, good. Which is a very serious point. But he... Um, the thing I think that you find charming about him, but none the, you know, notwithstanding the fact that I'm a, a nice guy, I think that fills in to Fraser somewhere, but the thing about him is you that are? he... You are? I am a nice guy. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, come on, you know that. <laughs> you are a nice but, guy. But uh, that he likes people and loves people so deeply, that he cares so much about doing the right thing for people, and I think you forgive him for all his uh, faults that way. Let's talk about sort of what's coming up, because one yes. of my favorite people in the whole world is going to be in three episodes of Frasier, I understand, Laura Linney. Oh, yes. I think she is so she's great. She's terrific, yeah. She's so talented, and she's so nice. Yeah, she's We've got to find girl. her a really great guy. Great Can you okay, work on that for a in your spare her? time? Okay, yeah, definitely. Right, I'll discuss I'm sure she'll appreciate my saying that do. on national television. <laughs> she is fabulous yeah, and so great. wonderful, and she plays a woman who owns a dating a service, maker. right? who uh, gets under Fraser's skin, sets him up with four or five girls who are it's pretty pretty bad dates, and then uh, he starts to have a thing for her. Yeah, well, that's what I figure. Well, let's take a quick look at when you first meet Laura's oh, character, who runs a matchmaking service called, I thought this was clever, Charlotte's, Charlotte's Web. Web. It's embarrassing yeah. to admit you need help in the romance department. Please, come in. No, this was a mistake. I understand. Come in. <laughs> Trust me, you are comically incorrect. I do not need a matchmaker. <laughs> so, you're married? No. Dating someone? I date plenty. In fact, I often need the proverbial stick one uses to beat women off with. I... <laughs> I believe my point is made. <laughs> <laughs> so, does Fraser find love? Before, um, before he rides off into Fraser the sunset. Fraser has found love many times. Uh, we are he not sure he's going to stay with love in this. We'll really? See. Yeah. Tell me how the rest of the cast feels because obviously, you know, you guys, I'm sure you must be really good friends with all these yeah. folks. Uh, how are they feeling? Are they feeling uh, upset? I, I think everybody feels like, like the, the, the end had to come. We knew it, you know, last year. He didn't uh, want to no. jump the shark, as they say? No, no. Are they excited about sort of what's ahead or, you know, what, what's sort of the general I think everybody's really set. excited to see the family kind of wind itself up. We have big endings for both the couples. Uh, there's John and Wendy Malik is playing his new girlfriend. And then for 
Daphne and Niles, of course, they're going to have a baby and live happily ever after. That's the way the story reads. When you think about it, 31 Emmys in all categories. I mean, it really is very impressive. You must be, all of you must be so proud. We are proud. Now tell me, what, now, so what are you going to do? Well, there's a couple of things coming up. Um, there's some talk of doing a play maybe in bro um, on Broadway. I understand you want to... Yeah. Would, want it, would like to, is this true, be in the producers well, when Nathan Lane leaves? Well, we've talked about it. We've talked about it. Now, that might happen. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. We're do not I really sure zero Mostelli it. enough? Um, I can do zero Mostel. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I can. <laughs> Back on some pounds, maybe? Uh, I, they might have to pad me. And, and, I'm not going to put the weight on. <laughs> and what else? What else are you looking um, at? Movies well, there's or? a couple of film projects. There's one musical, uh, A Christmas Carol, for uh, NBC, actually, that we may be shooting in Budapest this summer. And then uh, there's uh, several shows that I'm producing now. So, so you're a busy guy. I'm a busy guy. And you'll stay busy. Even though uh, Frazier will be. Maybe I'll try to be a little less busy. Yeah, well, that's I got a good kid, idea. You know, I was going to say the new kid. The new kid. The new unit, as I call it. <laughs> the yeah. new unit. Your little little girl <laughs> the Mason, latest right? The latest yeah. <laughs> and, and and Camille's doing well. Your wife Camille. She's doing very well. Yeah. Thanks. Good. Well, I hope you're able to relax and enjoy some more free time. Thank you. Goes by like that, Same doesn't to it? You. It does. Thanks, Kelsey. Anyway, <laughs> okay. good luck, and and we'll be talking to you. I'm sure before yeah. the end of the okay, season. Good to see you. Thanks. And of course, you can watch Frasier on Tuesday nights at nine, eight central, right here on NBC. Up next.